All right, somebody left a comment the other day and they were like, what happens if you max out the virtual machine's RAM? So basically, in case you don't know, with VirtualBox and all the other virtual machine softwares, you can select how much RAM you want to allocate to your virtual machine. So it's taking a portion of your total uh, host computer's RAM to basically power the virtual machine. So in VirtualBox, they give you this nice slider right here. You can see it has a green area, which is the area that you should stay in. And then it starts to go into a little bit of an orange area and then a red area. So it is in megabytes. So 8,192 is about eight gigs of RAM on this particular computer. So let's see what happens. I have a good idea of what's gonna happen, but if you go in the orange area, uh, you notice that it says invalid settings detected. So you click on it and it says more than, you know, such percentage of the computer's memory is assigned to this virtual machine. So there might not be enough memory left for the host operating system. And that's exactly uh, what I was expecting to happen. Now here's the thing, you can go all the way to the end of this orange, but as soon as you get to the red, it does not let you click OK. Like you literally cannot uh, allow that to happen. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go down until the OK button appears. I'm not sure where that's gonna be. Okay, it's somewhere right here. I don't know what the megabyte is going to be. Oh, there we go. So it looks like 7,372 megabytes is the sweet spot here. So let's just go ahead and hit OK. So everything else is basic, like one CPU, all that kind of stuff. And let's just hit start and see if it crashes the Mac, which I'm pretty sure that's exactly what's gonna happen. So it starts up okay. You can see me. Okay. So let's see if it even gets in to Windows or if it just crashes. Okay. It looks like it's already crashed. Let's see, where's my cursor? Okay, cursor is nowhere to be found. Yeah, so it's literally, oh, there's the, uh, beach ball right there. Hmm. Oh, so the beach ball disappears as soon as you go onto the desktop, which is funny. Yeah, so that's literally what happens. Uh, nothing is usable because VirtualBox has used every single bit of your computer's RAM and Mac OS needs I would say probably four gigs maybe to run comfortably. I don't know what the minimum is. Maybe the minimum's like two or something like that, but yeah. If you want to max out your RAM, it ain't gonna happen. I guarantee like we can't even do volume and stuff either. Yeah, we can't even do anything Mac OS related. Can we even get to the force quit? No, we can't. Command Q, Command Q work. No, so yeah, if you're going to allocate RAM to your virtual machine, this is why I tell you guys two to four gigs is all you need to do. You don't need to go crazy because really your performance, <laughs> the higher you go, the worse it actually gets, which is kind of weird. Uh, but two to four gigs max is what you need uh, to operate your virtual machine just fine. So quick video showing you what happens. The only way to fix this is a hard shutdown and reboot because yeah, it does not like that one bit. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch y'all on the next one.